Welcome to Car Design Academy, where we help aspiring designers master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training and personal mentoring. Today we're going to continue practicing uh, drawing vehicles in perspective based on a collection of boxes in space. And uh, we did an SUV, which is, which is a very simple boxy shape. Uh, it's a two box design, which has a defined engine compartment and a passenger cargo compartment. And we're gonna do now a three box design, which is uh, a pickup truck, which has a defined uh, engine compartment, passenger cabin, and a cargo bed. And so as boxes in space, we, they exist in the same environment with two vanishing points and a horizon line. So I'm gonna just start by sketching a very, a very light, very faint horizon line. And the, the vanishing points are gonna be off the page because we want the, the vehicle to, to more or less fill the page. And so I'm gonna draw a rectangular box that is quite a bit longer than it is wide. Now pickup trucks are much longer than SUVs because that cargo box is, is a completely separate volume from the passenger cabin. And so I'm gonna be drawing a fairly long, fairly lean box just below the horizon line. So if this is the horizon line, box is going to be aiming towards these two vanishing points off the page. Now getting the length and width right takes a bit of practice. I just encourage people to, to just practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, the better you'll get a feel for the correct proportions and the correct positioning of these boxes. So I'm gonna draw another box that's more or less centered between the two, but slightly um, biased towards the front. And this box is, go is gonna go just slightly above the horizon line. So, and you can see I'm using the side of my pencil. I'm, I'm sketching very lightly so that I know I have the correct proportioning and orientation of these boxes. I'm also working towards, working all the lines towards those same, those same vanishing points off the page. Now, since this is a pickup truck, I'm gonna lean the windscreen back a little bit. So that, that second box, which is sitting on top of the main, the main body is going to be angled back in the front and that's for our windscreen. And I'm also going to add a, a trapezoidal shaped box on the front because I want this, this truck to have a bit of a chamfered look to the corners. So if you were to imagine, if you were to imagine the top view of this, of this truck being uh, square and, and then just clipping off the corners, that's, that's more or less the look that we want. I'm also going to draw a center line because that's going to help me orient all of the details. And we're not going to do a, a ton of details because I want to, stay focused on the boxes, but, but the, the center line really helps to define or map out the details of the front end, like the, the headlights and the grill. Now I'm gonna draw the two planes for the wheels. I'm gonna, because this is an off-road capable vehicle, I'm gonna make the, the center of the wheel be aligned to the bottom of the main body. And I want these, I want these planes to look as square as possible and sitting just outside of the, the side of the, the main body. And I wanna make sure that these, that we have our five, five and a half uh, diameters in between.
So I think we're pretty good in terms of the, the distance. Because remember, because these squares get foreshortened as they move further away in distance, the, the front square is going to be wider than the, the rear square, and so they just progressively get narrower. So you can see I'm just stacking, just stacking these boxes, one on top of the other, along the same, the same horizon line, the same vanishing points. Very important that we maintain consistency. So, all of these lines converge towards each other. And the windscreen is going to get a, a slight radius as it transitions into the roof. So we have the building blocks that we need for the main body. And so now we're going to get, uh, we're going to figure out these wheels. Uh, and to define the center position of those wheels, I'm going to draw uh, a line through each corner of the, of the squares. And that's going to tell me exactly where the wheel centers are. I'm going to draw an axle line, which follows the, the same vanishing point as everything else. And if you remember, the orientation of an ellipse is always 90 degrees to the direction of the cylinder. So I'm going to draw another sort of very faint guideline that is 90 degrees to the axle. So now I have the correct height, width, and orientation for the ellipses with the box and the, the, the major axis. So now I'm going to very lightly sketch in the ellipses of the wheels. Now since this is a truck, I'm also going to sketch in some wheel openings that are quite, quite generous in terms of clearance. I'm going to make them trapezoidal. So it's a little easier to draw. And since, since our tires are essentially cylinders, I'm also going to continue that cylinder uh, all the way th through into the wheel well. And then I'm going to clip off the inboard edge of the tire tread. So now we have a tire tread. So now that I have all the building blocks put in place, I can start to darken some of these lines and start to add some, some, some surface character details. So things like the, the headlights and the grill. Some, some fender lines. You can also use the doors to indicate some, some sections in the body. So the body is not exactly flat.
You might see the far side front tire just a little bit. Again, just keeping keep an eye on those wheel centers. And now you can see with that chamfered corner, the bumper line. The bumper line really reinforces that chamfered corner. Now I'm just drawing in the shape of the, the window. Just following the profile of the, of the roof. So as we get into drawing vehicles in perspective, we're, um, we're drawing these boxes in space, but then we start to angle some of these boxes and we start to round off some of the corners and then we can start to get a little bit more shape and sculpture. And as we progress into uh, more sculptural vehicles like sedans and sports cars, um, we, we begin to angle and round off uh, lines and surfaces much, much more, but everything still exists within those same two vanishing points, that same horizon line, it's very important that we uh, maintain awareness of, of those, those key orientation lines. So all of my lines are converging towards those same vanishing points, towards the same horizon line. Everything is working together. Everything is coordinated. It just takes a lot of practice um, getting those boxes right, getting the, the, pr the proportions right, the length versus width, the, the versus height getting the, the, the wheels and tires oriented correctly and getting them spaced correctly. It just takes a lot of practice, but uh, if you start with constructing these boxes and starting with some fairly simple shapes, you can, you can uh, build your uh, proficiency in perspective very, very quickly. If you're looking to take your car design career to the next level, you need a mentor who can show you the way. Go to www.cardesign.academy and book a free discovery call. We can help you map out a strategy to master the skills and technology necessary to succeed as an automotive designer through live, online training, and personal mentoring. Whether you're just starting out on the journey or you're looking to level up, subscribe to our channel and be sure to follow us on Instagram at cardesign.academy.